Hey everybody, it's Tony here with a review of Edita Gruberova's 50th Jubilee Concert with conductor Beta Valentovic, lyric coloratura soprano Nicole Haslett, dramatic baritone Marcus Brook, lyric tenor Matthew Newlin, and basso cantante Andrew Harris, which I saw at the Deutsche Oper Berlin. And Madame Gruberova performed works composed by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Gaetano Donizetti, and Giuseppe Verdi. And of course, as her encore numbers, one aria from Richard Wagner and one aria from Johann Strauss. Now, I was completely excited for Madame Gruberova given the fact that she was celebrating 50 years on the stage. And while I felt that she could have retired given the fact that she is in her 70s, I still have to give her a great amount of credit for her dedication, for her overall commitment, and the way she was able to perform those arias tonight. The concert started off with an exciting rendition of the overture to Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart's Die Entführung aus dem Serail, and he managed to lead the orchestra with the appropriate amount of charisma and energy making this particular overture a fine opener. And as we go to Edita Gruberova, who started off the evening with three Mozart arias, those being Traurigkeit, Wad mir zum Lose, from Entführung aus dem Serail, sung by Constanze, Dona Anna's Non mi dir, from Don Giovanni, and Elettra's Doreste Daiace, I thought that she was able to pace herself so well in these arias. Her rendition of Traurigkeit wat mir zum Lose was wonderfully lyrical and poignant, and she was able to shade her voice so well. She was able to give this aria a great amount of feeling, and I thought that her rendition was an overall stirring one. The same thing I can say about her rendition of Non Mi Dir from Don Giovanni. It was wonderfully poignant. And sure, while her mannerisms do take over, making some of her performances a little bit on the over-the-top side, I still have to give Madame Gruberova a fine amount of credit for how dedicated she is as a singer. And let's not forget about her rendition of Doreste Daiace, which was appropriately fierce and marvelously over the top. Then we go to the second half of the concert in which Madame Gruberova sang the final act of La Traviata, starting off with the letter Teneste la Promessa and then the aria Adio del Passato. And of course, her equally stirring duet with Matthew Newlin as the Alfredo Germont Parigio Cara. And speaking of Matthew Newlin, I thought that he was fabulous tonight. The way he managed to sing Alfredo was excellent. I have been following Mr. Newlin's career for about four years now, and he has been growing and growing as a singer. He had this certain fullness to his voice, which I am a huge fan of. And as always, he was dashing and charming, making his performance as Alfredo so inviting and so wonderfully youthful. I cannot wait to see him perform this role in the near future. And I'm sure that he is going to have a wonderful Violetta by his side. Equally as outstanding were Marcus Brück, who sang the role of Giorgio Germont. This was yet another singer I have been following his career for quite some time. And as Giorgio Germont, I thought his voice was full and rich with that roundness of a true dramatic baritone, which I love. And his stage presence, as always, was startling in the most positive way. He had this presence which made him tall and strong, and he was just, simply put, an excellent singing actor. 
director. I also have to give a lot of kudos to Nicole Haslett for her lyrical performance as Anina, and of course, Andrew Harris for his fine performance as Dr. Grenville, even though he didn't really have that much to sing. The concert was almost about to end with Madame Gruberova's rendition of Vivi in Grato from Donizetti's Roberto de Verreux, which then leads to the cabaletta Quel Sangue Versato. But before that aria, Peta Valentovic once again led the orchestra to the overture to Roberto de Verreux, which had that grandeur and beauty which I love so much. And going to Edita Gruberova's rendition of Vivi in Grato and then Quel Sangue Versato, I have to say that she managed to cap everything off so well. She sang with abandon and she showed no signs of holding back whatsoever. She even had two encore numbers. The first one was Richard Wagner's Dich Teure Halle from Tannhäuser. And while this first encore number was a bit odd for my tastes, given that the role of Elisabeth is supposedly written for a spinto or dramatic soprano, I still have to give a good amount of credit to Madame Gruberova for how she sang this aria. Sure, her voice is not the most ideal for this said aria, but everything she did, I thought she managed to do quite well. However, it's her rendition of the laughing song, Mein Herr Marquis, from Johann Strauss's Die Fledermaus, which I thought was the absolute highlight out of the two encore numbers. She was able to sing this aria so magnificently with the appropriate amount of humor, and I just loved how she was able to have fun with Mein Herr Marquis. She was able to be so playful in this aria that I thought that she was quite charming. I would have appreciated it more if she would have also sung the Chardas, mainly Rosalinda's Klänge der Heimat. But in terms of her rendition of Adele, a role which she has also been singing for quite some time, especially during her lyric coloratura soprano years, I thought that her rendition of Mein Herr Marquis was a fine callback to the younger years Edita Gruberova had. And this was definitely a fun way to close the evening. And what more can I say about the conducting done by Peta Valentovich? I thought that he led the orchestra in a very solid manner and he managed to bring in a lot of energy, enthusiasm, and a fine amount of musicianship from all of the players. So overall, what a way to celebrate Madame Edita Gruberova's 50 years on stage with a fine selection of arias, some equally wonderful performances by Marcus Brück, Matthew Newland, Nicole Haslett, and Andrew Harris, and of course, fine conducting by Maestro Peta Valentovich. I thought that this was definitely a 50th anniversary jubilee worth remembering. And for those of you who caught this particular concert, what did you think of it? Did you feel like Edita Gruberova was at her strongest in this particular concert? Did you feel like there was another singer who stole her thunder? Or did you feel like she should have retired much earlier? Or you probably felt like there was something that just didn't really hold up? Comment below and let me know. Well, that's all for now. I also want to dedicate this review to Nolubuyisu Mupofu, who is celebrating her birthday today. So Nolubuyisu, if you're watching this review, I wish you a very happy, prosperous, and awesome birthday. Stay awesome as you are, and I wish you all the best for your upcoming endeavors. I also want to dedicate this review to a couple of my Facebook friends, Antonio Martinazzo and Guido Palmieri, who I also saw tonight. So, Antonio, Guido, if you're watching this review, it was a major pleasure to meet you both. I was so blessed to have gotten to know you two, 
and I hope we see each other in the near future. And tune in tomorrow for my review of Sarah Brightman's Christmas concert. So until then, good night, everybody, and happy holidays.